from WDTN, the station that's working for you. This is 2 News. Hello, I'm Kelly King with today's WDTN.com webcast. Investigators are trying to piece together a bizarre shooting and standoff situation in Troy. Police surrounded a home in the 200 block of Riverside Drive for hours waiting for the suspect inside to surrender. He did come out peacefully around 8 this morning. He was immediately taken to police headquarters to be questioned. We're told there were several weapons inside the home. Troy police say the man may have been involved in a shooting on Imperial Court around 2.30 this morning. We do know the suspect and the occupant of the apartment on Imperial Court do know each other. They tell us an argument got out of control stemming from ownership of a vehicle. No one was hurt in that shooting. However, police are still looking into the incident. A West Carrollton man faces a judge today answering to the shooting death of his son's girlfriend. 70-year-old Ira Perkins is facing reckless homicide charges for the death of 25-year-old Brittany Geiger. Prosecutors say Perkins was in a fight with his son when he fired a shot into the wall of their Marcy Road home earlier this month. Geiger was on the other side and the bullet hit her in the head. Today, a Huber Heights attorney plans to file a nuisance complaint about the Heat nightclub in hopes of getting it shut down. Two people were shot and killed outside the club early Saturday morning. Investigators say 20 shots were fired after a fight erupted in the club and spilled into the parking lot off Brant Pike. Meanwhile, last night at the city council meeting, blistering outrage from a packed house in Huber Heights. Council members tried to close the club last year by voting not to renew its liquor license, but earlier this year, the Liquor Control Commission overturned that decision. Both sides are digging in, Heat's owner vowing to fight the nuisance complaint, the mayor vowing not to give up either. Another battle in the war on drugs today. Area leaders will host a town hall meeting on opiates, the drugs that have a sedative effect. They say a person dies every three days from an accidental overdose in Montgomery County. The meeting will be held tonight at the community center on 5th Street starting at 6 p.m. Meanwhile, if you want to read more about this story or any of the day's top headlines, it's all right here for you on WDTN.com. Log on anytime, day or night, for the latest news, weather, and traffic. Again, I'm Kelly King, working for you. Thanks for logging on and watching.